What's going on? I'm here with my friend and student, Dara, who's going to share a little bit about his time on the ECA certification, which just so happens to be his second time around. What went on the first time, brother? What was going on? So I was kind of forcing myself through it, working two jobs, got myself quite sick and run down and was kind of plowing on. Made, made myself a lot worse <laughs> and thankfully I'm back a wee bit better now and nice. trying again. Deadly. Um, so first time around, you know, before you signed up, obviously you had a bunch of things going on. You had your full time job, you know, you were studying, you had all this here. Um, was there anything the first time around that was kind of stopping you from enrolling on the course or, or, you know, what happened? Did someone refer you on the course? Like what was going on there? So I've kind of always had an interest in fitness. Uh, I've actually a degree in physical education and thought I would go down the teaching route, but then I decided that wasn't really for me. Um, I, I'd seen a lot of different online courses and things like that, and once I realised that I was getting actual like hands-on feedback and mm -hmm. hands like seeing the thing in person, that's when I kind of decided that I wanted to go to ECA. It was just kind of through social media and seeing what the course was about and seeing <laughs> Lenny's face pop up every so often. That's how I kind of decided. <laughs> Uh, you know, I know, I know things didn't quite work out for you the first time around. Um, uh, you know, for whatever reason, you'd probably just taken too much on at the time. Uh, you know, second time around, I'm guessing things are a lot better this time around for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, just I'm still not back at work, unfortunately, but uh, I'm doing all the things I can to keep myself right and keep myself in the right position to be here. And I'm definitely thankful to be here. Well, we won't, we won't need that job soon point. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, when did you realize you had made the right decision moving into fitness? I think even just the first Sunday, the first time in person down here, I, I, I can't speak enough about the, the, the level of comfort is put to us just because then the knowledge is here and it's like, it's not something you're searching for. The knowledge is being given to you and if there's any questions you can ask and it's it's, it's just a, it gave me a lot of confidence and this was the right thing to do and it's because it's something I enjoy and I feel like I'm in the right place to learn. Nice. What has been your biggest takeaway from your time, second time around at ECA? Um, probably just something that you probably said in the first time as well is like the more you the more you think you know the less you know and the less you think you know and the more you know so I probably thought I was on top of all the things I could to keep my like I have a medical condition I did keep that at bay when really I could have been doing a lot more and it's something I'm probably a lot more on top of now nice and if there's you know a young lad out there in the same position as you um, what advice would you give them you know in terms of moving into the fitness industry, someone who does have a passion for fitness, they have possibly studied some sort of uh, something related to fitness in university, like what message would you give to that person? I think it's the motivation of like, you can do this yourself. Like it's not something that you need to be in a structured environment to do. Like if you have this want to do something, they want to help people, this is the right place to learn. And once you come and learn what you need to learn, you can go out there and operate for yourself. It's not something that you need a massive support structure to do. Nice. Cheers, bro. Thank you. 100%. Legend. Thank you, mate.